I feel we've we've been as truthful to to him and his and his story as um, as as we could be. Um, I had known James Lord. I had gotten to know James Lord, which was how I got the rights to the book originally. And Lord would tell me lots of stories about Giacometti, um, so that was incredibly helpful. So I had those stories in my head. Plus, I'd read just about everything that had ever been written about him, and. You know, there are certain consistencies throughout all of these books, and you just try to take all those consistencies and turn them and kind of distill them so that it, it can be very specific. And, um, a lot of the stuff is what Lord recounted. I mean, a lot of that dialogue is what Lord wrote. And then I'd kind of make stuff up from there. I would call from different bits and pieces of his life and create scenes out of that. To try and try to turn it into something that was um, um, sort of organic and, and naturalistic in its in its behavior, not um, uh, you know not not somebody writing about um, doing a sort of thesis on art. It has to be broken down into the way human beings speak and might express themselves. Stanley's got a great sense of rhythm. He will just go, guys, throw this away, throw this away, because he says, I think this scene is actually, potentially, in a very dry, droll way, going to be very, very funny. Just seeing people deal with celebrity and the difficulty of the torturous processes of making art that you don't know what it's going to be or what it could be or will it ever happen. Um, uh, and he's he's very he's very good with the camera, you know. He's working with Danny Cohen. And we're shooting fast. It's almost guerrilla filmmaking. It feels like fly on the wall kind of camera work. But then I, I I don't really look at the monitors. And then occasionally you get a glimpse of something, and you go, "There's something quite artful going on here." <laughs> 